Oh, you guys caught me doing my, my football exercise. Well, I'm deciding to do this since the Super Bowl is around the corner. And to celebrate the occasion, I feel like I'm going to review a movie about football. You might be asking me which one? Not The Longest Yard, nor its remake, not Rudy, not even Remember the Titans or Invincible. Today I'm going to review The Blind Side. But first, just let me line up the shot here and. Ooh, I literally don't want to pay property damage. So let's get to the review, shall we? Just, just cut to the next clip. You need cool air. Baby, I'm not cool I'm gonna sit here back in school air. Way down inside. The Blind Side is directed by John Lee Hancock and stars Sandra Bullock, Quentin Aaron, Kathy Bates, Lily Collins, and Ray McKinnon. But it, and it is also based on the real life story of football player Mike Lore, and is also based on the book of the same name, but entitled The Blind Side: Evolution of a Game by Michael Lewis. In this film, after being taken in by a wealthy family, a poor teenager basically gets a second chance at life, and basically he is he basically joins the college football team, and it basically Basically, him shows of the events that leads up to, to the current day, as of now, on the real life Mike Lore. Now, before I give you my review of The Blind Side, let me give you some facts on Michael Lore's early life when he was young. When he was young, Michael Lore had had terrible parents, where he, where his, where his mother was a crack addict, and his father was constantly taken to prison. And when we get to see shows flashbacks of his childhood in this movie, it really affects what the life he's been through. Oh yeah, speaking of effect. And the blind side, it affects this, this story really well of being a great movie. Now let's talk about what I liked and what I didn't like. Let's start with the acting first. The acting in The Blind Side is great, especially from Sandra Bullock, and after watching this movie, I can understand why she was nominated for Best Actress in a Leading Role in, in for Academy Award. And also, I think that the guy who plays Michael Orr, I think his name is Quentin Aaron, I think he does a good job considering the lines he gives. And the other cast in the movie is great as well, but mainly, those are the two standouts I just mentioned. For me, I think the best part about this movie has to be the chemistry between the family and the guy who plays Michael Lore. It's kind of like having a new, another son into the family when he's not having a good life. One good scene is when is the youngest son takes Michael out for training, and it's probably the nicest, one of the nicest scenes in the movie. And I think Sandra Bullock does a good job having a good time with this kid and making him feel very welcome. Now let's talk about what I didn't like about the movie. The only flaw I have with The Blind Side is that I think it is kind of slow. Now mind you, the movie is two hours long, but I wish it could have been slowed down a little bit. But still, it still is a really good movie. I still check, I just recommend people checking it out as well. Since the Super Bowl is around the corner, the question I have to ask you guys is, who do you think you is going to win the game? Do you think it's either going to be the Carolina Panthers or the Denver Broncos? For me personally, I would say that I'd want to see Denver win, but I'd probably say that Carolina's probably going to win the game. But who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? And also, make sure to subscribe and request movies that you want me to review. I'm Jeff Buckland. Thanks for watching my review for The Blind Sign. And I remember, I played a game of football once. I think it was on NFL. It was a very rare game. It went like this. It looks like Jeff is curling on the field right now. And what, the, and what is he looking at right now? He's picking up Koala and he's carrying him with the football. Is this even illegal? 45, he's on the run, wins. 40, pushes him at 35, look at him go. He's down to 20, 15, he could go. He is going to go.